She loved school. She loved empowering. She loved educating. Rana Zoe Munjin always excelled academically. Her sister bringing us to PS202 in East New York, now closed by COVID-19. So we became valedictorian here. A lot of times that we would go into the school, we would still be able to see her plaque and her name that was there. Her writing and grades so good, she graduated from Wellesley College. She was so proud to call herself a Wellesley alumni. The idea that Hillary Clinton went there. But Zoe made sure to bring her Jamaican Latino heritage with her to college and the sixth grade classroom at Ascend Academy. And she turned her niece, Lanaya, into an A1 student too. I have a 3.9 GPA right now and I owe it all to her. She basically taught me how to write. Mia Munjin is a registered nurse and she came home with a fever around March 9th. Pretty soon, Zoe had a fever too, going back and forth to Brookdale Hospital with breathing trouble. Mia said some EMTs didn't seem to empathize. They're insinuating that she was having a panic attack. By the time Munjin was hospitalized at Brookdale, she needed a ventilator. Hydroxychloroquine didn't work for her. So Senator Chuck Schumer, a fellow Brooklynite, wrote the Food and Drug Administration to get the teacher accepted for clinical trials. And she was transferred to Mount Sinai March 27th. Up until Wednesday, last Wednesday, she was improving. She had woke up. I was able to FaceTime with her, you know, um, and she looked well. But once Munjin was transferred to a New Jersey facility, already fighting a sepsis infection, things went south. Mia last FaceTimed her sister Sunday afternoon, apologizing for bringing COVID home. I didn't consciously bring it into the house, but it's just something that I was exposed to. And I told her if I could, I would trade places with her. I told her that I loved her and that I needed her to keep fighting. But I know she's tired and her body is worn. At 12.25 p.m. Monday, Rana Zoe Mungin, just 30, took her last breath after 37 days in the hospital. The niece she taught to write is now getting a full scholarship at John Jay College. Everything that we worked for, I'm not here to share it with her because she's supposed to be standing here with us, celebrating, because a lot of good things are happening right now. And I just want to tell her about it, but I can't. Lanaya Munjin now has law school aspirations. We have to believe her Aunt Zoe will find the way to motivate her dreams into reality. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.